and welcome to another update from Teddy TV News. I'm Mars. And I'm Logan. Our top story, Club Rush, this Monday. Here to tell you more about that is Richard. Thank you, Logan. This Monday will be on a modified bell schedule. Our classes will be 45 minutes long and will end the day early. Why? Because it's Club Rush time, again! Clubs will be posted up at the stables after school that day. It's a chance for you to see what clubs Roosevelt has to offer and for you to sign up for any of them that sound fun and interesting. Clubs are a great way to get involved on campus and meet people who are interested in the same things you're interested in. Not only will the clubs be posted at the stables, but will also be food trucks. So make sure you bring some money for information about Monday schedule, be sure to take a look at your team's tile. Back to you, Mars. In addition to Club Rush, Monday is also Valentine's Day. Looking for the perfect Valentine's Day gift? Pre-order a Strawberry Rose Valentine Gram from the class of 2025. Dairy lunch by the stables. More about this from Miss Carrillo. Hi everyone, this is Miss Carrillo, uh, the supervisor for the uh, class of 2025. We are currently having our Valentine's Day fundraiser uh, and we're selling Strawberry Rose Valentine Grams as well as Punny Valentine cards. So you can purchase them each for a dollar um, where the person that you are sending the Valentine Gram to will essentially get a card that tells them to pick up their Strawberry Rose after school on Valentine's Day. So um, they can pick up their surprise roses, maybe a bouquet, maybe one or two. Feel free to send one to yourself. <laughs> Warmer temperatures are on the way. Here with the weather forecast is Alex. Today on, today on Friday, you're, we're looking at a low of 44 degrees and a high of 77 degrees. This, uh, the, this weekend, the weather is going to be nice and sunny. Saturday, our weather is going to be a low of 46 and a high of 80. Sunday, for the Super Bowl, our weather is going to be around 46 and a high of 81. So get cozy and watch the teams in the Super Bowl compete. Monday is Valentine's Day, so find your Valentine and go get them something because the weather is going to be 46 and a high of 77. Tuesday is going to be a low is a low of 43 and a high of 60. Wednesday is going to be a low of 60, uh, uh, 36 and a high of 60. Tuesday, uh, Thursday, the, the low will be 38 and a high of 70. On Friday is a low of 40 and a high of 73 and, the, and that's the weather for this week. Thank you, Alex. When we come back, a special mural on campus gets a facelift. And are you hearing voices in your head during passing time? We'll explain more after these Senior Night Sports highlights from this week. The mural outside RSA office is getting a facelift. More on this story from Logan. That's me. Roosevelt's School of the Arts program is hailed as one of the most prestigious in the district. The mural in front of our theater is a staple of all that RSA stands for and is known to everyone on campus. It has been there for 10 long years, but the AP art students decided it was time for an upgrade. They plan to include several different arts that are offered at RSA in the mural. 
So for this room in particular, it's just our AP art class here that's working on it. So we all kind of collaborated to create a collage of different ideas. Each of us kind of taking a section of what we do here at Roosevelt and kind of creating one image and then making it one big piece. The AP art students knew that replacing the mural was going to be quite the task, so they invited the original artist of the mural back on campus to gain her insights and maybe some advice. There's a lot of people who are going to say, like, your stuff isn't any good, who cares? Yeah. If it's good to you, that's all that matters. Of course, being the original artist and seeing all of your hard work taken down in front of you must invoke some feelings as well. Is it bittersweet? A little, but uh, I did ask them, hey, can I repaint it? I'm so much better now. And they're like, no, we want other students to do it. I'm like, that's the right thing to do because I didn't really believe in myself as an artist until Rose World did. And if I can somehow help other artists see that they're good too, then so be it. Yeah. Luckily, we're in good hands as the AP art students are way more excited about the prospect than they are nervous. Oh, it's epic. It's going to be legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah it feels yeah. awesome knowing yeah. that you're... That's pretty cool. Yeah, knowing that your last creation is here. Mm -hmm. And you can always come by and then just see that, oh, we worked on this. We're cool. No. Yeah. RSA means so much to so many people, and its mural is etched into every student's minds. To see its repainting unfold right in front of you is pretty unique. In a way, it's like seeing a piece of history in the making. As you've made your way to your classes this semester, you may have heard more than bells and music playing through the speakers. More on this from Richard. You may have heard a new sound during passing time. Those aren't voices in your head you're hearing. In fact, it could be someone you're sitting next to. It's all part of the new plan to connect students and everyone together. Miss Bonilla believes that this is one way to ensure success among new students. We have a team of teachers who are really ensuring, looking into ways to ensure freshman success, and this team came up with the idea to change up the student voices in order for students to have more connectedness to other people on campus, either students or adults. And this idea is becoming a success as Ms. Bonilla states, many Roosevelt students are accepting the offers to be speakers for the new plan. The team then came up with the idea that teachers should select some people that they thought would be great candidates for putting their voices on the air. And all of those students were able to be contacted and had an opportunity to come in. And because of that, we got a huge pool of students to be able to have as, a, as voices for passing periods. And I think it's going really well. Miss Bonilla is in awe of the Roosevelt student skills on the mic and is enjoying the experiences. I'm so impressed with the amount of talent we have on campus. I mean, the number of students who came in and were able to bring their own voice and their own personality to the recordings and then just record one after another, like boom, boom. It was, it was astounding and it was really fun. Ah, and you see, business is booming like Miss Bonilla's hidden talent of her own, laying down some mixes in some tracks, even collaborating with local hip-hop legend Mr. Allen. I edited all the recordings myself and mixed in some beatboxing, as you may have heard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've submitted, I've, I've submitted them all to Mr. Allen, and he's the one who now goes through and changes them up every so often. I mean, we have, I think, around seven or eight voices per period. Mm -hmm. So it's whenever um, he, whenever it's the next group of people, he'll just put them all in and you'll get to hear another week's worth of students That's on the wonderful. air. So the next time you're walking to your class, pay attention to the voices you're hearing because it might just be the next Kanye West, Beyonce, or Roosevelt Vice Principal. In entertainment news, it was announced that the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie will be available to stream later this month. Here to give us a spoiler-free review of the movie is Mars. Our new Spider-Man No Way Home came out recently. In case you forgot, in Spider-Man Far From Home, Peter Parker has been exposed by Mysterio and is trying to save his career along with MJ, his partner, and his best friend, Ned. Now in No Way Home, Peter goes to what he feels is his solution, finding an old ally, Doctor Strange asking for his powers to help. 
Strange agrees, but Peter keeps changing the spell, making it not possible to work, causing old but new enemies to go to their dimension. Let's start with Dr. Octo Octavius. Making an appearance which was quite impressive, he has way better arms, upgraded with better design, having more of a realistic feel than from past Spider-Man films. Marvel films have progressed in effect quality and as you can tell by the years and series and movies they have made. Depending on the connection you have with Marvel films, it's going to be a real tear jerker. But there will be those good laughs. This film will keep you at the tips of your toes seeing how the situation goes. Overall, I give this film 5 curbs. Well, that's our show. We hope you enjoyed it. From all of us here at Teddy TV, from Studio S111, have, have a great, great weekend. weekend. And go Rams! Yeah! See you all next week. That was awesome. <laughs>